deeply bro and explore the basis of this connection between you and this person the strengths of your relationship should you enter into one and also the areas where you could potentially face challenges so let's get straight into it libra sun moon rising venus what sort of connection is this between you and this person okay transformation this is very powerful because this connection has the power to transform you your world and that of this person's as well transformation really talks about metamorphosis change uh, changing as an individual changing as a partner changing as a lover um, i really feel like this relationship or this connection could transform the way you see love or long-term commitment libra so there is a lot of power for this to change your perception and change your goals as to who you want in your life or who you want to end up with now likewise this can be applied to this person as well um, I love that the fact that the number 10 is here because of 10, which comes down to a 1, is all about new beginnings, primordial things that are the first of its kind. So for a lot of you, this, um, this connection is going to transform your feelings, your perception about love, um, compromising as a lover. It's really going to change and, and um, make you almost, it's like an uh, uh, undergo a metamorphosis of some kind here in regards to love and commitment. So there's a possibility to change, okay, or a possibility to change your life from this connection. And for some of you, maybe you weren't open to marriage and this is a partnership that's going to come in and marriage could very much be on the cards. Or maybe you weren't over to moving, you weren't open to moving for someone and suddenly that's going to be transformed. So major changes can be associated with this connection here. Um, but as I said, it might not be someone that you're really crazy about, like they might not be your type, Libra. You might just need to give them a chance because they can transform your love life. Let's have a look at your strengths. Okay, Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Okay, two knights, which is quite powerful. Uh, Knight of Swords is all about communication, um, pacing, timing. If this is coming up in your strengths, Libra, I feel it could point towards um, communication and things evolving between the two of you at a fairly fast pace. Now, when I say fast, um, I, I mean, I don't mean that things are going to happen overnight. Um, things will happen at a pace that is comfortable with you and this person. And because he rushes, I actually feel like um, the connection can speed up a little bit here, but it'll actually turn into one of your strengths. So it could also be um, the way in which you move towards your next milestones, because if you're committed um, and you're dedicated to moving at a fast pace and likewise as this person, then obviously the relationship can develop fairly quickly and milestones can be reached um, faster, such as moving in or traveling together or saying the I love you's or committing and becoming loyal. So these things can happen at a faster pace. But the Knight of Swords also represents determination because he's on his seed, he's on his noble steed, sorry. Um, he's got the sword in his hand. He's got direction because he knows exactly where he wants to go. So I think this has also something to do with goals, whether short term or long term. Um, your ability to have a vision and to work towards that vision will be the same of your partners. And together you will work towards that at a very, very powerful um, pace. OK, so that is quite powerful. Again, it points to mentality and communication. So it could be your ability to overcome things. It can be your ability to talk again after an argument. It can be your determination to seek validation from your partner or to open up and really liaise with them. Um, the strengths uh, as well, are one of your strengths is also the Knight of Cups. Now, the Knight of Cups is honesty, integrity, dignity, um, respect admiration determination and resilience so i think these factors are coming into one of your as one of your strengths libra um, i do feel as though there's potential for the both of you to fall very deeply in love with each other i actually feel like it's your emotion your care your compassion and how much you offer because you can see although he's got a long way to go he's still committed he doesn't look like he's bailing anytime soon so this is someone that's i always see the knight of cups as the ride or die because he's so unbelievably committed to the good to the bad he's willing to stick it out no matter what happens so it's that kind of emotional commitment that you'll see from this person that is really going to help you in your relationship but the attachment that you'll develop together 
this is also quite powerful and will be one of your strengths let's have a look at your um, areas of challenge however in this connection okay areas of challenge is finding stability as indicated by the knight of cups I actually feel like if that's coming up as your challenge, then if the relationship happens or develops too slowly, this could hinder the growth of your relationship. I actually feel like the two of you might prefer things to move faster or you might prefer to know things before they happen. It's almost like you prefer to know it all rather than keep secrets from each other, rather than, you know, play games or, you know, I'm not going to reply for two hours. I'll leave it like this. I'll play the game. I'll get him hooked or I'll get her hooked. I don't think you're doing that. I think everything's going to be all out in the open, Libra. It's a, it's really a relationship that's very upfront. If the Knight of, um, Knight of Pentacles is a challenge, it means that there's potential stagnancy in the relationship. Maybe because of career, because the Pentacles can be money, um, or you know, the, the it's things that are stagnant or stationary. So it could be boredom as well. Things that become too mundane. Things that become too uh, predictive this can be a fault in the relationship because that can create boredom and that will not entertain that energy so maybe because we're reading it in a context of challenge the knight of pentacles i mean is usually seen as a wonderful card of stability and growth and offerings um, but if this is coming up in your challenge then it could point to either the career or physical realms impacting your relationship or stagnancy boredom you can't let things get mundane okay this can be a challenge in your relationship so it'll be up to you and this person to keep things interesting keep things stimulating for the both of you um it could also be financial problems you might have different visions about the physical realm saving um how you view money or spend money and you know a lot of people don't think that this is an issue or they don't see it to be a big issue but you know it is i've, I've seen it um, the way, you know, finances, unfortunately, have a lot to do with our lives. And, um, you know, unless you, you unless you've reached a certain level of enlightenment, where you don't let those financial stresses impact your connection. then for the most part, this could be a challenge um, for you and for this person. So that might be something to look out for here. Um, also, another area of challenge is the chariot. Now, the chariot is a card of success, but in this context, it can be um, someone feels more entitled than the other because the chariot is status, something about status, entitlement, some person wanting more power than the other, some person wanting more um, reassurance. Because the chariot card um, symbolizes the sign of cancer, it can be someone that's still holding on to the past. So the past may somehow affect your relationship in a challenging way. A past ex, past secrets, past traumatic event, um, something that you're still emotionally linked to, or this person is still emotionally linked to, which could pose to be a challenge. Um, now, again, if we're reading it in a context of challenge, um, the sphinxes are technically stationary here. So stagnancy, again, I feel is coming up around you. Um, but also, you know, when I see the stars in the canopy, he wants to chase his dreams. So I don't know if someone's dreams are going to prevent the other from um, pursuing this relationship. I don't know if that's getting in the way. What can I compare this to? Uh, the movie La La Land, if anyone has seen that. Um, I hate to give away spoilers here, but I guess just the concept of you have your own dreams, hopes, wishes, as indicated by the stars, and sometimes a relationship. Um, you know, you could meet the right person at the wrong time. And I feel for some of you that might be coming up or that might impact, whether it's your dreams, hopes, ambitions, or that of this person's, that might impact the growth of the relationship and could be a challenge. I will leave it at that though, Libra. I hope this reading has been helpful. 